Good morning, everybody. And we want to turn to our breaking news out of Geneva. Today's historic summit between President Biden and Russia's Vladimir Putin. And there is a live picture coming into our newsroom right now. The Swiss president who is hosting the meeting at a villa in Geneva, introducing the two presidents. This is the moment the world has been waiting for to see these two leaders side by side. And in a moment, they will be face to face across a conference table at that villa in Geneva. This is a moment of extremely high tension. Both leaders saying the U.S.-Russian relationship is at a low point and setting very low expectations for what could be achieved. But the stakes are very high. NBC's Lester Holt in Geneva for us. Lester, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning. Uh, things appear to be on time right now. The Swiss president delivering uh, remarks, kind of welcome remarks in French uh, before. We'll let you hear a little bit of it you to Geneva, the city of peace. It is an honor and a pleasure for Switzerland to host you here for this summit and in accordance with its tradition of good offices, promote dialogue and mutual understanding. I wish you both presidents a fruitful dialogue in the interest of your two countries and the world. Best wishes and goodbye. Now the hard part begins as the two leaders will go into that uh, Villa Lagrange in Geneva and, and start the business of this meeting. This first meeting is going to be a small one. It will just be the two presidents and their longtime aides, the foreign minister on the Russian side and the secretary of state, Anthony Blinken, will be uh, representing the U.S. And then it will expand a little bit later to uh, a, a larger working group. And I think we just saw a handshake between the two leaders. This is not their first meeting and for neither of them is this their first rodeo, Lester. They have a lot of experience uh, in foreign policy and this kind of summit diplomacy. Yeah, President Biden met with uh, President Putin back uh, in uh, 2011 when he was vice president. So they have, you know, some relationship. There have been phone calls that have been exchanged uh, uh, since uh, uh, President Biden took office. But this obviously their first uh, face to face meeting as uh, two commanders in chief, if you will. We can tell you there were questions that were shouted at uh, at President uh, uh, Putin as he went in. Can you reach an agreement? What do you hope to accomplish? Do you trust President Biden? Uh, President Putin did not answer any of those questions. And as uh, we anticipated after the welcome remarks, there were to be no uh, no comments from either leader. They'll now go inside, as you mentioned, they'll be with their chief diplomats, respectively. Uh, there will be what we in the news business call a pool spray. In other words, the cameras will be allowed in uh, to capture just the, the what's happening in the room at that moment. Uh, that'll last probably a minute or two. Um, before the cameras are ushered out and they get down to the hard work of these discussions. We've talked about four to five hours, perhaps. Uh, if it goes longer than that, that would certainly raise a sense of optimism that they were um, uh, making some progress on issues. But, of course, we'll have to wait and see.